Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? x raised to the power 6 equals to x minus 2 all raised to the power 6. From here, let's take everything on the right to the left. We have x raised to the power 6 now minus x minus 2 raised to the power 6 equals to 0. Then from here, we can rewrite this as x raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2. 2 times 3 will still be x raised to the power 6. Also, minus x minus 2 raised to the power 3. Then, also raised to the power 2 equals to 0. And from here, we have difference of two squares from here. And that can be written as x raised to the power 3 plus x minus 2 raised to the power 3. Then multiply by the subtraction now that's x raised to the power 3 minus x minus 2 raised to the power 3 which is equals to 0 and from here we have two cases from here the first we have x raised to the power 3 plus x minus 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 and also from here we have x raised to the power 3 minus x minus 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 and then from the first case here it follows a cube plus b cube equals to 0 so when we look at this we can express a cube plus b cube as a plus b multiplied by a square minus a b then plus b square that's sum of two cube then when we apply that here we have a here serving as x and b here serving as x minus 2 so this will have a plus b that's x plus x minus 2 then multiply by a square that's x square minus a b x times x minus 2 then plus b square that's plus x minus 2 square then equals to 0 and from here when we expand this we have x plus x here that's 2x minus 2 then into bracket here we have x square then minus x open this bracket minus x square then minus times minus plus 2x then we expand this bracket this is plus x squared minus 4x plus 4 which is equals to 0 then from there this bracket we have x squared minus x squared cancel out and also we are left with 2x minus 2 multiply by we have x square left here then 2x minus 4x that's minus 2x then plus 4 then equals to 0 so also from here we have two possible cases we have 2x minus 2 equals to 0 and also we have x square minus 2x plus 4 equals to 0 and by the time we look at from this side, we have 2x equals to 2 now. Divide both sides by 2, x equals to 1 from here. So this is one of the value of x. And from here, we have a quadratic equation. When we use the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus b. And b is minus 2, that's minus, minus 2, plus or minus square root of b square. That's minus 2 square, then minus 4 times a a is 1 then times c c is 4 then over 2 times a then from there when we solve this we have x now equals to minus times minus as plus that's 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 squared that's 4 then minus 4 times 4 that's minus 16 then over 2 so this give us x equals to 2 plus or minus square root of minus 12 
over 2 and minus 12 can be written as 4 times 3 times minus 1 and square root of 4 there is 2 so we have x equals to 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 and square root of minus 1 is i then over 2 so when we divide through by 2 from here so x equals to 1 plus or minus root 3i so we have another values of x so we can say from here we have the first value of x that is x1 from here is equals to 1 and uh, we call x2 as we call x2 as 1 plus root 3i and uh, x3 as 1 minus root 3i and also from the second case that we have earlier here we have the second case we have here that is from x cube minus into bracket x minus 2k equals to 0 when we solve from there as well this follows the identity a cube minus b cube which can be written as a minus b then multiply by a square plus a b plus b square so when we use this identity from here we have from here we have a minus b that's x minus x minus 2 then we have here multiply by a square that's x square plus x times x minus 2 then plus b square that's plus x minus 2 squared then equals to 0 then from there we can simplify this this will be x minus x then plus 2 so when minus open this bracket then into bracket x square this x open this bracket plus x square minus 2x then plus expansion of here we have x square minus 4x then plus 4 which is equal to 0 and also when we simplify again now we have x minus x cancel out this is 2 now into bracket x square plus x square plus x square that's 3x square then we have minus 2x minus 4x minus 6x then plus 4 equals to 0 now here we can divide through by 2 and then this will be divided by 2 on this side and divide by 2 on this side 2 cancel 2 on this side and here we have what is left is 3x square minus 6x plus 4 equals to 0 and when we solve this quadratic equation here we have x equals to minus b and b is minus 6 minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of b square minus 6 square then minus 4 times a a is 3 then times c c is 4 then over 2a and 2a is 2 times 3 and from there here we have minus times minus that's plus we have x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus c squared that's 36 then we have minus 48 all over 6 and from here we have x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 12 over 6 and also we can write this as x equals to 6 plus or minus 2 root 3r because 12 can be expressed as 4 times 3 and square root of 4 is 2 and square root of minus 1 is i then over 6 so when we separate here now we have x equals to 6 can divide that will be 1 plus or minus root 3i over 3 because 2 here 1 2 here 3 then finally we have another two solutions from here so we can say that x for now is equals to 
1 plus root 3i over 3 and x5 from here is 1 minus root 3i over 3. So here we have come to the end of the solution and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.